What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Laughing Cody. This is LCT10 Champions Ligas. We are in the quarterfinals. Today we have quarterfinal number three. It's got Mundu Dream 11 taking on Lahori Donuts. And um, as you can tell, Peshar Zalmi have already made it through the uh, same final on the other side. Johannesburg Titans have made it, beating Lancashire Swing Kings. If you want to see those games, both of those games are already up on the channel. But yeah, let's get straight into today's game. Now, both of these teams did really well in the uh, regular season, particularly Lahore. They did um, tremendously well. They pretty much beat everything. I think they only lost one game the entire season so they are looking very strong got Mundo at the other end did really well as well look at those two sides star struck very good players on both those sides and um this is what they've all been playing for they are here finally and uh let's see what they've got there's an 18 percent chance of rain let's hope there is no rain in real life it seems like the rain will never stop but Let's hope in the game at least we can stop the rain. Here we go, coin toss. Lahore is gonna call. The captain is Oin Morgan. Here we go, it's head. So Katmundu, Dream 11 have won the toss. Sean Marsh will elect to bowl first. All right, so Katmundu's gonna bowl first. First delivery, Jaspeed Bumra to open. And he's gonna be bowling to Halesy, who finds the middle of the bat, but not the gap. And it's just a dot. He's gone short. Oh, he's got a wicket! Jaspreet Bumra, he's that kind of a bowler. You need a wicket, he's gonna deliver. And that's a big one as well, not just because he's a big man, but also because he's a great batsman. Alex Halesy is gone. He was in great form as well. He's performed really well for Karachi Kings recently, and uh, that is very crucial. Halesy has gone for a duck on the second delivery. Not looking good already for Lahore. Steve Smith, the absolute legend. He's been doing really well throughout this tournament. Let's hope he can um, give Lahore a stable start here. Well, here we go. Okay, that's more like it. Third delivery is a boundary. So far, this over has been pretty entertaining, and we've only had three deliveries. Oh, he goes full. He goes too full. Oh, I think he's got him. Oh, no, that's a drop catch, and he's dropped Steve Smith of all people. He has dropped Steve Smith. Now, if there's anyone you do not want to drop, it's him. What is happening? In the previous two quarterfinals, there were lots of drop catches as well, and there's one right here. And the thing is, these are very easy catches. Look at that. That should be a catch all day, every day, 24 seven. That is just not good enough. Oh, he's gone short. Oh, if, oh my goodness. If it wasn't enough that they dropped a catch off his bowling, now there's a bit of punishment to follow. And it's not of any mistake he's made. That's the worst part, really. Yes. Oh, and again. Again. Joffre Archer this time. I guess it's one of those days for Steve Smith. He's just getting lucky. Everything he touches turns into gold. Yep. Are you serious? Are you serious? And again, what is happening? Oh, he's done well. That was a bit too low to be pulled away, but he's done really well. That's Quentin the cooker for you. He's got it, mate. Oh, they're running for it. They're running for it. This is going to be a close one. Oh, I think he's gone. Oh, I think he's gone. Oh, he's gone. I think he's gone. Oh, no. Oh, no. Quentin the cooker, come on. Oh, yeah, he's gone. Oh, he's gone. That's a close one. But I think he's gone. Yes! Oh! <laughs> okay. Both the openers are gone now. For Lahore. Four of four for Quinton the penis. And Oin Morgan is the next batsman to come in. The skipper finds himself out there much earlier than he would have liked. But he's got a job on his hands. Steve Smith is doing all right. Well, he's not really doing all right, but you know. 
that's been the story through and through, really. All the 21 runs he scored have come off a of Knicks. It's looking a bit shaky for Lahore. Oh, that's a good hit, but there is a fielder. Has he cleared him, though? That's the real question. Oh, yes, he has. 93 meters. That's 124th sixer. Someone in the comments mentioned, will we cross 150? Yes, we will cross 150. Come on, let's aim for 200. 150 is too easy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you lucky bastard. Steve Smith gets away with it again. Oh my goodness, you know we all want to be the edgelord, but the true edgelord here is Steve Smithy. Oh, he's gone after him. He's gone after him. There are two fielders on the rope. I think he's beaten them. Oh, they've done really well from one fielder to another, and that's the end of the skipper, Owen Morgan. That's a magnificent piece of fielding right there. Collaboration at its best. Look at that, fun example of teamwork right there. Takes it, throws it into the other fielder, and the other fielder collects it. And that is the end of Owen Morgan. Now they've given the catch to Jason Berndorf, but to be honest, Joffre did the hard part. I think that was Joffre. Despite losing quick wickets and Steve Smith just not being able to find the middle. Speaking of finding the middle, there you go. He's just found the middle. 36 he's moved on to but yeah despite all of that Lahore is doing all right you know Shaky Bull son that's the third back-to-back -back lefty oh he's dragged that one back onto the stumps and he's gone as well he is missed out on a peach of a delivery by the way that was there to be put away but he's uh just dragged it back on that's just unlucky Unlucky for Shaqib Al Hassan. And Cameron White is the next batsman. And Steve Smith is still out there, though. He's loving life at the moment. There's no way they're getting him out. Even when he gets out, he's still not out. That's just the kind of day he's having. Cameron, what have you got? Fast delivery. He spanked it. And just short. One bounce over the rope. Four runs. He's gone short. Slower delivery. It's a good thing there was no fielder there or that would have been caught, but it's actually gone all the way for four. He did not time it well at all. Full and a no ball, and that's gone straight down the ground for four runs. Okay, has I got scared a bit. I'm like, wait on. I didn't see that fielder, but then I saw the fielder. I'm like, wait, that's that might not be a four, but it was a four regardless and a free hit to follow. Sandeep, he's been pretty good so far. Oh my goodness, what a take. What a catch. Now that is how you perform. That is how you perform in the playoffs. Yes, I know they dropped some very easy catches. Well, they've only dropped one to be fair. But they've had two absolute, look at that. Oh, it's like he teleported. It's the Caribbean man, Kieran Paula doing the ting. And Steve Smith finally, his luck's run out. He's gone. Umar Akmal. Oh my goodness. Can you tell me where is the fat? Yes. It's a good shot. Very good from Cameron White. The other Aussie taking on the role of the Aussie that left, which is Steve Smith, obviously. Although he's doing it in a much finer fashion than Steve Smith. Steve Smith was all Nicks and ugly shots well, that's a very good shot Cameron Akmal his older brother loves that pull shot so he's got a couple of lessons from him I guess because he's played that really well well that's a very cheeky shot they've got a fielder there though and I think he'll get it but that is a very good shot they collected two runs on that occasion and to be honest they deserve way more than two for that shot just giving her a bit of room. There's a fielder there, but I think he might have found... Oh, just about. Just about. He finds the rope, and it's four runs. He's pulled on his body. Cameron White, the bear, goes after him. Has he got all of it? Oh, not enough. But just enough to get the four runs. Not sixer, though. 
Kieran Pollard not having a great time and he continues to have a bad time. Has he cleared it with this time? I think he has. 125th, six, right there. Cameron, the bear white. That's more lucky, that's what I like seeing. You know what, this is a great contest because Kieran Pollard himself is a bear as well. Once he gets the bat in his hands, he's gonna do something similar to Lahore. Well, I can only hope he does. Oh, lovely. <laughs> the Knicks continue. They'll just settle for a single. Oh, enough. Just enough room for Cameron White to free his arms and find the rope. I mean, he's doing great. He's moved on to 30. It's giving him way too much room again. Umar Akmal this time. Goes for four, lovely. They've put up a pretty good total. They've still got two deliveries to go. That's not okay. That was a bit too short. I was gonna say that's not the line you want to bowl or the length. But he's just going on and gotten a wicket with that. I mean, what do you expect really? It is Umar Akmal after all. He is gone. That was very poor from Umar Akmal because that was a delivery that should have been put away for a sixer. Instead he's gone. Having scored 15 runs, that was a pretty decent innings though. Michael Nessa, I think he'll be only facing one delivery. Oh, here we go, last delivery of the game. Riyadh. And he's ball short again, see that's more like it, that's what you do with a short delivery like that. That is just great stuff right there, 108 total, that's pretty good. Cameron White should be very proud of himself because he's done really well, he's given everything here today. Steve Smith and Cameron White, the two Aussies getting it done, 39 and 34. 108 with a loss of six wickets, that's a very good total. But let's see how Katmandu reacts, or responds rather. They weren't too good with the ball. See how good they are with the bat. Josh Butler is one of the highest run scorer in the tournament. So all eyes on him. How does he do here today? Adil Rashid is one of the highest wicket takers in the tournament. So how well will he do? It's the best of the best. The clash of the Titans. Here we go, fast up. He's tossed that one up and he's missed it. Hazratullah Zazai swings and misses. Two Englishmen going against each other. Here we go. They're used to playing on the same side, but now they're facing off. And Jossie Butt Butt for now gets the better of him. Oh, that's a great comeback. Don't think that's out, but that's a very good comeback delivery. I'm loving this contest. An absolute master of spin bowling against an absolute master of modern cricket. Choose to come around the wicket. Oh, that's a top edge. Hazratullah Zazay is not looking good. He's not looking good at all, but he survives that one. Oh, there's a bit of a mix up. Oh, he gets there in the end. Alrighty then. So it brought so far, pretty good. He gets a nick, you know what, it's karma. That's exactly how most of Lahore's runs came, so it's only fair. Been a bit light on sixes, this game. Oh, yes, is that a six? Is that a six? No, it's not, come on. Oh, no. Oh, he sauced that one up. That was there for Jossie, but, but to put away, and here we go. First six of their innings, 126. Here we go. We're gonna get that 200. Oh, he's tossed that one up again, and it's a no ball again, and it's another six. So here we go. We're going to get to 200 in this game alone. Let's do this, Jossie Butt Butt. That's why I love watching him. He's such an entertaining batsman to watch. That's a nice replay of a sixer, by the way. What the hell? <laughs> it said it was supposed to show a six. It showed a no ball instead. It's all right. Oh, similar delivery again on a free hit. Three back-to-back -back sixes. I was only joking, but Josh Butler is looking to get 200 here. And if he does, I won't mind it at all. Here we go, an absolute masterclass. 
That's the beauty of T10 cricket. Mundu. Oh, that's a, it's a risky shot. A risk is just Butler's middle name. If you didn't know, by the way, now you know that is actually his middle name. Yes, I've seen his birth certificate. That's his name on there. Wait, do they have middle names on birth certificate? Okay, that's me telling you that I haven't actually seen. Not that you believed me anyways. But if you did, well, first, you're a dumbass. And second, no, I didn't. That's just a joke. But let's move on. It's turning out to be quite a game. Oh, <laughs> that's too cheeky. I think he's beaten the fielder on the rope. Yes, he has. By a mile. Hazratullah Zazay finally... Getting one on the middle of the bat. He's not having a great time out there. He's only scored nine runs of 19 deliveries. That's not acceptable in a T10. Come on, mate. Shakibul Hassan. Oh, Dagasi. That's more like it. That's what I just said in Porto, by the way. <laughs> He's started to pull his own weight now. Hazratullah. Dear her. Oh, lovely. Lovely. That's more like it, mate. Here we go. Now he's getting into it. Idol Rashid. Oh, he sauced that one up. And has he got no wicket for it? Oh, I think he... No, he has not. I wouldn't call that a drop catch, although he could have... Uh oh, that's a run out. That's a run out. That's a run out. Here we go. He did drop a catch, but they got a wicket in the end anyways. Now the interesting part would be if that's the wicket of Josh Butler because I was not really paying attention to who that was. No, it's not Josh Butler. It is not. All right, Kathmandu, you're lucky. <laughs> it's Hazratullah Zazai, but that was a drop catch. The only reason I say it's a drop catch because he had to drop the ball. If he hadn't, that would have been a six. But there was a fielder next to him. So he could have thrown it to that fielder just like we saw earlier from Kathmandu or Jofra Archer rather Sean Marsh the captain in the middle now he's had a great tournament so far as you can see 51 average he's got and that's in T10 by the way so that is just ridiculous oh he's nicked it but that's gone between the two slips don't think he'll go all the way to rope though but they will pick up two oh Josh Butler wants the third one <laughs> come on mate you just lost a wicket to bad running Oh, he's tossed that one up as well. He wants them to hit it. He wants them to hit it. He's egging them on. He's asking for it. And they're throwing their bats at it, but it's kind of backfiring. All right, I think he's got it in the middle of the two fielders this time. Yes, he has. That's gone. That is very good. He's hit it well, and he's found the gap. If Lahore can manage the wicket of these two. Oh, that's a good shot. That is a very good shot. Josh Butler just showing his class. Calm under pressure. But yeah, if they can get these two out, they're back in this game. That's on his legs. Oh, he's done really well. No brute force, just timing and placement. Just a flick. That's all that was. When you're calm under pressure, it all comes to you. Look at that. Look at how... Easy, he's making that look. 50s up for him and only 20 deliveries. Josh Butler, we hardly knew you, mate. Look at that, 255 strike rate. Are you kidding me? Shaky Bull Hassan wants to get this over, over with. He's not having a good time out there. Look at that. Look at that. You want brute force, he's got it. You want cheekiness, he's got it. You want timing and placement, guess what? He's got it. Again on the legs, he's not learning his lesson. He had... <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, that was quite a poor over for Lahore. And I think that over right there is where Lahore will look back on if they lose this game in the end. Oh, that's a good shot from Marsh. That's a very good shot. He's moved into double digits. Welcome to the club, mate. Oh, that was a slower one, but he's picked it up well. Has he cleared the field? Oh, just about. He has just about cleared the field. Uh, 
And now the game's surely over. Oh, that's a good shot. That is a very good shot, and that's going to go to the boundary. Marsh has had no trouble finding the fence. He does so on that occasion as well. He's moved into uh, onto 20 with that, and with that, he's also tied the scores. Just one run required to win now. What a dominant performance from Kathmandu. Prem Bista, congratulations. Your team has won and won in style. And commiserations to Jawad. Yep. There it is. Oh, <laughs> there's more. There's more. Just rubbing salt into the wounds. <laughs> and he's not done. He's staying there. You've won the game already. Be on your way. Come on. <laughs> Very dominant performance. <laughs> That's just too good. Oh my, I'm loving this, you know. Now that I think about it, Lahore was my favorite, you know, to win the tournament. And they've been absolutely smashed. This is why I love the knockout format. Because it can just go either way. Because I'm pretty certain if you play, if you give these team three games to play, Lahore's winning two of them at least. But it doesn't even matter here because this is a knockout phase. Lahore on your way take your donuts and go home Kathmandu on to the semis where they'll be facing off Peshawar Zalmi by the way which is my second favorite to win this tournament but Kathmandu the kind of performance they put on 112 and 8.5 overs when if they can score that many in 8.5 give them one more over and they can easily go up to 130 and I don't think anyone's gone to 130 Wait, what's been the highest run score? Josh Butler gets them out of the match, rightfully so. I mean, who else was going to get them out of the match there, really? All right, here we go. Ignore Afan Shah for a second. Two wickets for Sandeep Lamuchane. Two wickets for Ash Sodi. Two wickets for Mitch Stark. And um, Ash Sodi's out. So is Afan Shah, so it's between... The other two, Shikhar Dhawan at the top, he's out as well. Just Butler right behind him, he's still in. And Johnny Basso is still in. It. And uh, Steve Smith and Cameron White both are out. Ryan Tendiscate is in as well. Tenda Temba Bavuma is in still as well. So here's how things stand. Bashar Zalmi to face off against Katmundu Dream 11 in the first semi final. But before that happens, we have to go over to the other side of the bracket. We still have the fourth quarter final to be played between Chakwal Rajas and Patna Supernovas. In a way, it's Pakistan versus India. It's going to be a good one. Let me know who do you think is going to win that one. And I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, drop a like. If you're new, subscribe. Comment below. Let me know who's going to win. Share the video. Spread the word. And I hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a nice.